Today we are going to discuss about example on diesel cycle and this is the description of the problem that we are going to discuss today. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's take the description first. So an oil engine works on diesel cycle with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius at the starting of compression. If the ratio of the adiabatic compression is 16 and that of the adiabatic expansion is 9, find the efficiency of the cycle. Take adiabatic index as 1.4. So before starting the solution, we have to draw first the diesel cycle on the PV diagram. So let's draw quickly the PV diagram of diesel cycle. So this is the pressure versus volume diagram. That is the PV diagram. Let's assume the cycle will start from the state number 1. So this is the first process adiabatic compression and then 2-3 process is the constant pressure heat addition process. So we can say heat supplied that is QS during process 2-3. Then 3-4 is the adiabatic expansion and 4-1 is the constant volume heat rejection. So if you want to see the detail of the efficiency of the diesel cycle with the help of this PV diagram, then you can refer my earlier video of diesel cycle. So that it is very easy to understand the description and also very easy to solve the problems based on diesel cycle. First, write down the given data from the description. So, a diesel cycle with a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius at the starting of compression. And you know that this is the adiabatic compression and so that it is your starting point. So, here the temperature is given to you at this point. So, I can say T1 is 25 degrees Celsius. And obviously, you know that you have to convert it into the Kelvin. So, add 273 and so that you can find the temperature in Kelvin. If the ratio of the adiabatic compression is 16, so you know that the compression ratio is V1 by V2 and that is generally denoted by small r and that is 16. So I can say r is equal to 16 and that of adiabatic expansion is 9. So you know that this is the adiabatic expansion process and so that I can say V4 by V3 that is your expansion ratio that is given to you as 9. So I can say V4 by V3 is equal to 9. Find the efficiency of the cycle. And obviously this is the diesel cycle. So I have to find the efficiency of the diesel cycle. So I can say efficiency of the diesel cycle is your objective. Take adiabatic index as 1.4 and that is what gamma. So I can write over here gamma is 1.4. So our objective is what? Efficiency of the cycles and that you know that 1 minus 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1 multiplied by diesel factor that is rho raised to gamma minus 1 whole upon gamma in bracket rho minus 1. So to find the efficiency of the diesel cycle, I have to find R and rho both. Here R is given to you but unfortunately the cutoff ratio is not given to you and you know that cutoff ratio is V3 by V2. So first I have to find the cutoff ratio. So you know that rho is equal to V3 by V2. V3 by V2 I have written as it is but I have multiplied by V1 and divided by V1. You know that this V4 is actually what? V1 because of from this diagram you can understand V1 is equal to V4. And you know that V1 by V2 that is the compression ratio and that is given to you as 16 and over here V4 by V3 that is also given to you as 9. So I can put over here these both values. So V1 by V2 is 16 and V4 by V3 is given to you over here. So it should be divided by 9. So I can say multiplied by 1 by 9. And simplification of this term, then you will get rho. So once I got this rho, that means cutoff ratio, then it is very easy to find the efficiency of the diesel cycle. 
because of now I have the compression ratio R, I have the gamma, I have the cutoff ratio also. So now I can put these all values in this efficiency of the diesel cycle. This is my earlier page and now I can start with the efficiency of the diesel cycle. So you know that efficiency is equal to 1 minus 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1. So up to here this is efficiency of auto cycle multiplied by diesel factor then you will get the efficiency of diesel cycle. So now one by one I will put the value. So 1 minus as it is 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1 and you know that R is 16 gamma is 1.4 in bracket this diesel factor and you know that rho raised to gamma rho already we have derived that is 1.778 raised to gamma 1.4 minus 1 divided by gamma 1.4 in bracket rho minus 1. So simplification. So 1 minus as it is 1 upon 16 raised to 1.4 minus 1 and so that it will be 0.4 in bracket. Simplification of this first and that is 2.238 minus 1 as it is 1.4 as it is 1.778 minus 1 that is 0.778 further simplification once again 1 minus as it is and 1 upon simplification of this term that is 3.031 in bracket 2.238 minus 1 that is 1.238 multiplication of these two term then you will get this one now I can simplify this whole term. So I will get 1 minus 0.3751. Further simplification. So you will get 0.6249. And that is the efficiency of the diesel cycle. But you know that efficiency is always in percentage. So multiplied by 100. Then I will get efficiency of the diesel cycle in percentage. So it will be 62.49 percentage and that will be your answer. So make a box. So thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.